Son, you burned another pot. You're fired. I never hear the whistle. Feed the dogs, will you? Listen, don't be a grouch. I'm a wonderful person. Enjoy what you got. Whose clothes are those? Yours. If you were a dog boy, where would you be? Mine. Yeah, I'm taking you to the thrift shop. It's Mrs. Vaughn's pet charity. <laughs> That's not going to help you this time. Why don't you look through that stuff, see what you want. It's mostly the city clothes. Okay, guys, come on. Elmer, Zolman, here we go. Hey, I wear this to the garden. Locked doors. Garbage strikes. Dog dirt and muggers. Ship it. Christine, what? Um, Worthing, Worthington, Worthington. You don't remember her name? What's the name of those, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's that name for people who come over from the mainland? Uh, Taurus or Summer Dinks? That's it, that's it. <laughs> so you picked her up at the ferry. How many were in the group? Mm, about 20 of us. Spent the night on the beach? Most of it. Nobody saw her go into the water? Somebody could have. I was <laughs> sort of passed out. She ran out on you. No, sir. She must have drowned. Look, I reported, didn't I? You live here? No, Hartford. Go to Trinity College. My folks live in Greenwich. Your parents were born here, though. Yeah, but they moved off when my father retired. You an Islander? No, we're at the You here for the summer? Yeah, me and some friends got a house. What are you paying? Oh, mm, thousand each. There's five of us. A you know, hundred a week, food, booze. It's pretty expensive. Well, it's not bad. Come on. But I'll tell you, I can't do my job in a vacuum. I mean, if this is what you want, you might as well have hired Hendricks. He's got relatives all over the island. We hired the right man, Martin. We didn't need someone with old feuds, family ties. We need someone to referee this thing. All right. Now, let me tell you about some of the vandalism that's been going on on this island. You know the white picket fence around my office? Well, apparently these old cockers are, are coming with karate chops or something. I don't know what... Martin, kids are, kids are breaking my whole fence. Is this your... Martin. softer than the number two. Try that. Hello, Mr. Quince. How are you, Katie? Good. Looking well. Thank you. Four spools of piano wire, number 12. Sure. What do those fish do? Eat that stuff? Well, they choke on it. <laughs> That's not funny at all. This is 
Kinder must have put her ad in the field and screamed. It's more like the National Enquirer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir. All right, just keep the safety on. And the more they come, the worse she looks. Man, you're not going out too, are you? Yeah. Yeah, three thousand dollars is a lot of money, and I'd like to have it. I can certainly use it. Look out, chief. Hey, you aren't going out with that bunch of crazy nuts, are you? I don't know yet. Did you, did you ever, did you, did you see the television special, the Cousteau special on sea otters? Sea otters, where the, the mother was killed in front of the baby. The baby saw it with his eyes. You could see the tears coming down his face. It was the most incredible thing I have ever seen. It was terrible. Mikey wanted us to adopt the sea otter. It was, I've never been this moved by anything on television. It was really, it was special. So, uh, you're going on the Aurora. You're going to live there. 18 months, well. So she would go, she would go. <sighs> like that. I mean, she was a wacko. She was really smooth. And all this was happening during finals week, you know? And she had my long distance telephone credit card, you know? And my father called up one day and he said, what is this $1,200 phone bill? And what was I gonna tell him, that I knew some bozo who was into erotic phone calls? <laughs> she was driving me nuts. She was great. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Oh, 
Try breathing through your mouth. 